Mr. Genius Idiot. I love that name. I love that name. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Your girl had to come all the way to this house early this morning because I forgot all of my clothes here. <laughs> Yay me, yes. Your girl didn't pack anything for work this week and leave it at the other house. Like, I literally brought everything here. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. And yesterday was Aisha's birthday. I started recording, like I was like recording content, but the day just got so hectic that I stopped recording and I was like, she gonna have the door redo. We ended up going to STK, which was a really, really, really nice restaurant. Um, but we just like really showed up looking any kind of way. I mean, we was okay looking, but I was like, uh, -uh I don't even want to create no content. I just deleted the stuff except for like the brunch. But everything else, I was like, this is a fail. It was a fail. We came out here because we went to the mall. Aisha was supposed to get her something to um, wear. Wasn't able to find nothing. Everything was like, she was like, I'm going to settle for it. I'm like, if you're going to settle, then you might as well just get something from the house. So we came all the way here to get her clothes. On top of, I had ordered some stuff from Amazon yesterday. And it was supposed to be dropped off between 2.30 and 5 30 so i was like okay we can beat her we can pick out the find the outfit get our package and be on our merry way well of course it didn't go like that first of all we had to go through all the boxes that was in the garage for me to be like oh i think the box you're looking for is actually at the house so we were here our package still was not here it was like three stops away three stops away and then it tells me, oh, we're not going to make it until 10 p.m. So we leave. We're like, we'll just have to come back and get this package. I freaking re, like, scheduled our reservation for the restaurant. Baby, as soon as we touch back in Phoenix, it said, your package is delivered. And he literally put it in the front door. Like, he didn't hide it. He didn't secure it no type of way. He literally put it just in the front door for everybody to see. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like... I think we live in a pretty good neighborhood. It's older people here. They don't care for these packages because they just be out here. But how you just never could be too sure. So I was anxious to come get this package anyway. So I needed to get that and I needed to get clothes. So since we're here, we might as well just clean. I need to clean up behind the refrigerator and the stove. So we might as well just do that so I can move those back where they go. And then we can kind of like clean up the kitchen a little bit. I checked the floor. It's almost dry. Like I could, it's it's getting there. It's not dry, but it is getting there. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Let me show y'all the stuff that I got from Amazon real quick, and then I'm gonna clean up, and then I'm gonna head back to the other house, and we're gonna clean that house. So I brought this. This is the only drawer that this can kind of fit in, but this goes for like your Ziploc bags. You can put the gallon quart sandwich snack, then foil. And then plastic wrap, and then I think these must be ex these must be extra, and this must be how you cut it. I haven't looked at the directions yet, but I bought that. And then y'all, I don't know how, but I got epoxy on here. I don't know if I can clean that off, like scrape it off and repaint it, or what. I don't know if that would be about like bother me. I don't care too much. I need to wipe down the cabinets anyway, but I don't know if it's gonna bother me too much. I don't, I don't know if I really care. So this was the thing I was most excited for was our door handles. So we ended up with the gold ones. So I'm anxious to see how it's gonna look on the door. And I got these because they're both flat on both sides. And, and in the house, the doors that was already here, they had like a lock or something on the other side and it's literally like has holes in all the walls because of the door handles like causing locks and there was no stoppers. So yeah, so I was like, I wanted something that was really flat and gave really cute and modern. And that was, that was it. Those was pretty expensive. I think I spent $233 for six door handles. So yeah, and then I got me and Aisha like a smart lock which I'll show y'all later. And then I got these. I thought they were bigger. But I mean, they're cute. I think I'm going to put these in the bathroom. 
so yeah they're just the faces i really like those those were really cute so yeah i'm about to clean like i said the back of the um stove the refrigerator and then we're gonna head back to the, oh i gotta find me clothes because we came here for clothes so don't allow us to forget clothes because how you come here for clothes and you still leave with no clothes that would be funny it won't be funny, but you get what I mean. You get, ooh, baby. Ooh, I would be so upset with myself. Let's go. Okay, so I pushed the, the refrigerator back. It has a big gap. And I saw, like, there's, like, a space saver for, like, the laundry room where, like, some it's, like, a little cart and it rolls out and you can store stuff in there. I think I'm going to buy that. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet, but I think I'm going to buy it. But the refrigerator is in there. I just put that up there because um that is going to go on is it blurry okay this stand or this little thing is gonna go on the counter with that base and i gotta fluff that out but it won't go there but i just put it there for now because i kind of wanted to see what it would look like in the vibe and kind of in the vase since it was like right next to me so yeah i think i kind of like it but i cannot get this oven stove back against the wall i don't know what it is that's hindering me i don't know if it's the cords y'all can probably see back there i can't but there are the gas line and the actual stove um cord and i don't know if that's it but i cannot push this back for the life of me so there's that it's so funny because we've been in this ref this refrigerator. We've been in this kitchen for so long with the stove halfway out, the refrigerator halfway out. I don't think I like really understood how big this was. At first I was asking Aisha if she wanted to put like a table in the kitchen, like we could eat in the kitchen. And I was like, it's too small, it's not enough space. Which I mean, it still probably would be too small, but we probably would have enough space to do it it's just this is a huge kitchen like we could literally probably put a table right there where them lights are and it'd be just fine but i don't know if i want a table in the middle of the kitchen like right there i don't know i was thinking about buying like a table for like right here in the living room in the family room and we eat right there and then the rest of this space would be for the living room and the furniture. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know. So I'm about to keep playing with this stove. I'm about to get me some clothes and head back to the other house because I don't want to be out here when it's like rush hour traffic and everybody and their mama is trying to get home. I don't want to be with that crowd and I got to get the stuff out of the car that I brought over here. I need to get that out of here as well. So I was trying to clean as much as I can, but I guess your girl ain't getting far at all. I'm trying to think what is in that Amazon thing. I don't bought so much stuff. Like it's crazy how much stuff I've been buying off of Amazon. I don't know what's what. There's some lamps. So what's that? Oh, that must be the chandelier. And a lot of the stuff I'm kind of scared. Like, I hope it's not broke because I can't return it. Like, if that chandelier is broke, I can't return it because it's out of the 30-day grace period. I just need to go. I really... Oh, I need to go. Oh. Whew. I am hot. I just got everything from the car. Oh, there's a fly in here. I need these flies to get themselves back out this house because they the floor is not dry so the flies have been sticking to the epoxy yesterday when we was here it was a, a spider that was stuck in the epoxy i came this morning and there was a fly stuck in the epoxy I'm like oh my freaking gosh and then i just wanted to get the stuff from the car that i brought from the house and two flies made its way in here like i need y'all to leave but y'all i brought the tv that was in aisha's area it seems like a small tv 
I think she got a 55 inch. So it's this TV. Baby, I don't know why, but I thought it would be able to fit perfectly up there. Cause I just want a little TV up there. We did want to cut like a hole so that you wouldn't see the cord. But Aisha was like, we don't know what's going to be in between the walls. So let's just drape it. But baby, we can't even fit the TV up there. So I feel like the way this living room is like having a TV only makes sense to be above the fireplace. And I looked up like how to mount something like coming down so we could just put a big one there and I couldn't find nothing. The alternative is we do have, I don't know how good it looks, but we do have a, um, a media player. I can't think of what it's called, but we can just play, like get a screen and just play like movie theater vibes there. I cannot think of what it's called, but yeah. But anyway, I need to get up out of here. I need to get my clothes and head up out of here because I was not intending to be here all day. I'm sweating, I'm hot. But baby, I feel like I've gotten a lot done. So, let me get these clothes and head up out of here. Okay y'all, so I found me some outfits and then I was like, you know what? My laptop is right here in this box. So let me like do a, like a trial like video. I have a video on my computer that I just never uploaded. So I'm about to see how long that's gonna take to upload because it's internet. The guy was making me so nervous when he installed. He was all talking about that you need T-Mobile service in order for this internet to work because it's like an infusion package where you have half like ordinary internet and then there's satellite radio or radio. And then there's the satellite portion of the internet but they work well together and it's supposed to be like the fastest speed it's like the newest thing that just came out and but he was making me nervous because i was like i don't have t-mobile so i don't know if it's gonna work but then he didn't connect anything with my phone like he was like i'm gonna test it see if it works and then if it works then we'll we'll go from there and i'm like all right cool but he tested it on his phone he didn't connect my phone so i'm like why did he ask me if i have t-mobile like, it obviously didn't matter. So, I don't know. We're going to see, though, how fast this little internet service is. Because if it's going to take a long time for me to upload, like, a two, this is only a two-minute video. And if it's going to take a long time for me to upload a two-minute video, I'm going to say this don't work. And I might cancel it because I was real nervous about this. Okay, it says it's going to upload in 17 minutes. I don't know if that's fast or not. I feel like that's slow. I feel like my, no, my other videos take like an hour. Like when I do like an hour long video. But this is three minutes. Like I feel like that should have uploaded in like five minutes. This is like the fastest internet there is. So the internet don't work. So I'm calling this company because it's supposed to be the fastest fastest internet there is and i'm trying to upload this two minute video and it's not uploading fast at all so i was like you know what i want to cancel the service because i already feel like i've been bamboozled like i spent 200 dollars to connect the service but online it said i was getting like a hundred dollar prepaid card or whatever and they didn't apply it so i'm like i was already upset that i spent 200 dollars to connect the service because i thought i was spending 100 and then this fastest service don't work. But she was like, oh, it's not connected. That's why it's not working because it's not even connected right. You only have like the satellite part, not the fusion part. And she just gave me July free and I don't have to pay my first bill until August. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, period. I'm here. Give me over to customer service then and let's, let's work this out so we can get the fast stuff working. Cause baby. Your girl's about to cancel. Like, uh-uh. It should not be taking me 30 minutes to upload a three-minute video. The fuck? I'm a content creator, and I got hours of videos. Like, it's going to take me five hours to upload an hour video. Who got time for that? With the kids being online? Baby! They lucky I even signed up, because this is not the service I wanted. It is not. But we're not complaining. 
We're not. We're not complaining. My phone about to die. I got 17%. Like, how do I have no battery? I was supposed to be out of here. All right. So, my name is Bernisha. Thank you for patiently waiting on the line here. So, I already have here one of our, uh, yeah, one of our technicians. I installed um, everything a few days ago. And I wanted to see if there was any leaks or drips. So, it does look like there is a few like leaks like it's leaking right there it's kind of leaking right there um yeah it's leaking a lot right there so so Aisha was in here messing with it trying to tighten it because she was like this is so loose and I was like I couldn't tighten it because I don't have the screws I just found the wrench right now which I think I probably have Aisha Titan to be completely honest, but for the most part, the setup is complete. And then I still have to install the dishwasher part to it. And that requires me to read directions that I don't feel like doing. But for the most part, that's done. I think we want to like lay, um, like lay something flat up underneath that because it's been, it got wet before. So we're gonna go ahead and like, install like a I think I saw like a Clorox like pad or something that you could put at the bottom of it I know I'm just showing y'all me but that's kind of like what it looks like at the bottom like it's kind of a sinkhole so I'm gonna just bleach this clean it up real good and then we're just gonna line this with like one of them like I said a Clorox thing this right here this right here is for the dishwasher I think it goes here but it just doesn't fit so I just gotta like figure out how to tighten that up and when I took it off it was on this ring like this but I don't know how to use this so yeah and we have some other ones that's kind of like that as well so it got to be directions on how to do that and like I said so I don't see leaks right here so which means I don't see any leaks coming from this part which means I did that part really well it's just this part and this part it's really really loose so I probably would have to add um, some type of sealant around there I don't know <sighs> or maybe tighten it I don't know but okay I don't said I was gonna leave so many times and I'm still freaking here I don't understand why I'm still here um, my video is, is going slow, but it's not going that slow. But okay, let's go to the other house. I think, I feel like I've done everything I could possibly do here. And I just need to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, like this day is just, I feel so lost. I feel so like, I want to be able to like really, really do something in here. And I feel like I can't because I really, I'm like trapped to just the living room in this kitchen and I can't go on that part of the house. And now that the stove, I can't get the stove behind there. I really feel like I just can't do much. I think it's that, didn't I say I was gonna go? I think it's a piece in the back of the stove which is hindering me from pushing it back, which is the, um, that gas connector the gas connector i thought it was a flimsy cord but it's not it's like really really stiff and i think that's hindering me from being able to push the oven back and now in order for me to remove the oven back out i need help because the oven is heavy as shit so i can't move it back out of the space but i think that's what's like hindering me is that i really thought that i was going to be able to clean up this kitchen and kind of like make it look presentable and kind of seeing this like as a vibe like I know it's not put together, but it already gives me homey vibes. And I'm like, okay, when this island and everything gets decorated and everything looks the way it's supposed to look, like it's gonna feel really, really homey, really, really cozy. Like I am just genuinely excited. And then just to know like what this looked like before, like it is just so crazy to me that this was like a brown, not brown, this was, it's so crazy to me that this kitchen was gray and it had a red ceiling. This was a fan. I don't know what that was, but 
this is just totally a different kitchen and I feel like it just opened up so much space. I don't feel like this kitchen was that big before we started this project. I'm in awe. I'm genuinely in awe. But okay, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Y'all, I came to Kava to get a, like a Kava bowl. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I got one of the bowls that was already made because I didn't want to have to think about it. I was like, just give me a bowl that's already made and just give me everything that's in the bowl. And I am nervous. <laughs> like, I'm so nervous. Like, let's see. Oh, I guess it's pretty good. Okay. This tastes pretty good. I can do kava. I was really nervous. I was like, mm, I don't know if kava's really good, but I probably could do them. But this was $15 for this little ass ball. But this is good. Y'all, so y'all know, I, I've been looking like a bum for months. It feels like months, okay? And I totally get treated differently like this opposed to when I'm all dressed up. Like, I get over like a bum. Like, I literally have on pink socks. These pants are way too small. This shirt and this hat. Like, I know I look like a homeless person. I know it. But damn, like the treatment is horrible. Like people are so mean. Like why y'all so mean? Not y'all, but you get what I'm saying. Like why are people so mean? I'm just going through a hard time right now. Baby, straight demolished the whole world. It was so good talking about, I can't believe I was over here talking about, oh, it's not enough. Baby, I could barely eat this. I'm full as hell. I'm so full, but that was so freaking good. Like, Kava, take my money. Take my money. And this lemonade is delicious. All right. Now we about to go home. And we can really, like, clean. And do everything we need to do. And then get ready for tomorrow. Y'all, I'm, like, really over here thinking about my life. Because going to this job is cool or whatever, but I'm over it, baby. I need to find something else. <laughs> I need to find something else. I am already over this life. And when the bills start creeping in and you start, you start getting more and more bills, you need to make more and more money. And I need to make more money, okay? More money, more problems. Good afternoon, happy Tuesday. So, I'm on my lunch break really quick and I wanted to come to the Dollar Tree. I need to get paint brushes. That's what I need to come in here and get. I've been getting like the Dollar Tree paint brushes because I, they work just, they work fine. I'm like, we spend spending all of our money and I don't even like keeping the brushes like after I use them I want to throw them in the trash so yeah so I came in here to get paint brushes but <clears throat> I've been watching like all the hacks on like how to like make something look luxury and I kind of want to see oh See, and this is like literally a prime example like luxury bottle and you can literally change this lid out and add your own I think I want to keep like all these type of bottles for the bottom of the scene y'all I'm ODing with this black huh And then 
They even have like regular clear bottles if you want to get clear. What does it smell like? It don't smell bad. <laughs> I feel like I want something. Um, <laughs> I'm being so un un undecisive. I don't know if I want this for like the kitchen or like the kids bathroom because I want to kind of do the round bottles for the kids bathroom. Good afternoon, happy Wednesday. You girl don't made it to Wednesday already. I'm so excited for this week, y'all. I got a pretty relaxed day when I get back to work. I only got two activities, three emails, and I'm done for the day. So the rest of this day is about to be real chill. But I gotta stay until five o'clock. I don't know if they're gonna allow me to leave early today because the girl ain't been at work at all. So, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to the house today. I only got four minutes on my SD card. I'm kind of excited. But we're going to the house today. And I'm hoping that these floors are dry. Like, the, these floors better be dry. Okay? So, I'm going to save my four, four minutes. So we can go to the house together. I got to load up my car. So I'm going to go go home right now and load up my car. And then we're going to drive after work. And we're going to see if these floors are dry. So yeah, y'all keep your fingers crossed for the next clip that these floors are dry. And we able to move in on Friday. Okay. I'll see y'all in 30 seconds. But for me, in five hours. Okay. All right, y'all. I don't know what that's going to look like. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I kind of wanted to see because it's kind of thin just to kind of see like how it would look. I usually said it doesn't look that bad. I only got one. So I'm thinking maybe like it won't look bad. I don't know. It's a dollar. I mean, it's going to be a little bit costly because I probably need about 30 of them. And it would literally cost me 30 if I got it online. But this is the main attraction and the floors are still wet it literally said i had to dig this epoxy out of here and start over it said that if your epoxy hasn't cured in 24 hours that you gotta start over you gotta dig it out and start over yay us so i don't know if i want to order more epoxy and put it on top or what to do or like like do like little sections but the kids come back this week i already asked their dad if he can keep them an extra week he said yeah because the floors are wet and now we're just gonna have to thug it out together like i'm gonna have to put like x's on the floor on like where you can walk and where you can't walk because at this point there's nothing else that i could do except for we gotta move in the good thing is our bedroom is fully cured and it's just like spots so yeah but i made i got my mirror here i traveled with the mirror here this living room is a freaking mess because it's literally so much stuff in here we're not a home but now that i know that we can't do anything with that then might as well walk on the floor <laughs> I don't want to walk on the floor and start tracking and then getting other parts wet. But yeah, I think I might just put like plastic or something down. But anyway, I only got one more minute left on this SD card. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And on the next video, we'll be officially moved in. So we'll see you guys on the next video.